Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna get the quads washed up after our weekend ride. As you can see, they are pretty dirty back there, but we're gonna go ahead and get the, the quads detailed, pressure washer, snow foam, the whole whole nine yards. So excited to get that done today. Also, I'm gonna share some thoughts on the mods that I installed. Finally had a chance to ride more than up and down the street. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. is all rinsed off um, still pretty dirty though we need to um, get some soap on it um, you can see here I have a table set up with our wash bucket and I got a bike stand here I'm gonna use our mitts a uh, little brush here that I like to use for the tires and our foam cannon the foam gun and our soap here I'm just using just some soap that I have laying around I enjoy detailing cars I just have a bunch of car cleaning stuff on hand, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the quad up on the stand there and um, get the pressure washer set up, all that good stuff. <laughs> we got the quad loaded up on the stand over there we got our table in the back set up ready to go our washing table got our bucket ready to go there is a grit guard in that bucket to help keep the dirt at the bottom i didn't grab a clip of that for you guys but you guys can google that and figure out what that is but i mean there's so many so much dirt on these machines i don't know if a grit guard really helps that much but you know it can't hurt so it's in the bucket we're gonna go ahead and put our utensils in the bucket so we have our wash mitt going in and our brush i like to use this on like the wheels and the tires and um, the engine components things like that so i do really like this brush brush in the bucket we have our mtm foam cannon set up ready to go this is actually the first time i'm going to be using the mtm version i used to have a old chemical guys uh, foam cannon that i use for detailing cars and whatnot but decided to upgrade to the mtm so that's ready to go I do have the exhaust plug. You can see that the exhaust plug does not fit in there at all with the uh, stock spark arrestor that's in there. So we're gonna unbolt the end cap uh, off the muffler there, pull the spark arrestor out so we can plug up the exhaust a little bit better. I did not do that when we were down there pressure washing. Um, I was just making sure I was being careful. Okay, so we got the wash plug put in. We're gonna go ahead and uh, turn on the pressure washer. I'm gonna spray down just some spots I've missed that I've noticed, like the tires are still pretty dirty. Um, we're gonna get those cleaned off nice. Um, but you can see it's coming along.
as soap has been on there for a couple minutes as you can see it's slowly made its way off the quad we're gonna go ahead and get um, our sponge going here with our soap and we're gonna wipe down the plastics and the seat I really like these Factory 43 XC heel guards. They did not catch my boot like the OEM heel guards do, so that was really nice. Um, I appreciate that quite a bit. And they held up. The nets look pretty good. I was a little nervous about washing them. I've never had an ATV with nets on it before, so I wasn't quite sure how that was gonna work. But looks like they are cleaning up quite nicely. I ended up hitting a tree over the weekend. Um, if you guys watched my last video, you would have seen that. But uh, yeah, it looks looks okay. It looks looks like it didn't uh, get a lot of damage or anything. So that's great. I had to retreat to the garage. It's getting way too windy outside. It's about to storm. So I'm not sure how these clips are turning out. Hopefully they're okay. I don't know um, if the audio is gonna be any good though. YFC is up on the stand in here. We're gonna go ahead and start to dry the quad. I'm just using microfiber towels. Um, sometimes I do like to use a leaf blower, especially to get all the water out of um, the motor area and the handlebars and the controls. Um, so sometimes I do do that. Uh, it just depends. Today I don't feel like doing that, so uh, I'm starting to run out of daytime, so I got to get going. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing dried up. So this is my first experience using any of these type of parts on a quad before. Like I said, I grew up with a small Yamaha Raptor 80 was my first ATV, and then I upgraded to a Honda TRX 250, and I rode that for quite some time all throughout my um, elementary, mid middle school, high school years. Those were the two uh, quads that I had. I actually, I also I did have a dirt bike during that time too, but uh, anyways, the only mods that I had before with the 250EX was just a full HMF exhaust and uh, the car was jetted as well. So I don't have a lot of experience doing these type of mods and I'm learning as I go and I'm figuring things out and so far it's been really fun. But yeah, just to talk on these uh, Factory 43 XE heel guards, 
Um, I'm pretty impressed. Um, so my biggest complaint with the OEM heel guards was that my, my boots would always get caught in the back portion of, I actually have them sitting back here. Um, so these are the OEM heel guards. My boot would always get stuck in those. I don't know why, I don't know if it's just the boots that I have. Uh, maybe they're just weird, I don't know. But, so these actually worked out really well. I was uh, quite happy. I will say though, one of these sides, let me find it, think, is it this side? Yeah, so if you can see here, you might not be able to see, but there is just a tiny little bit of play in this. The bolt is as tight as I can get it. Um, I'm afraid I'm, if I go any tighter, I'm gonna snap it. Um, so I don't know why. I mean, I've checked, I went over all these nuts and bolts just to make sure, and they're all tightened down. Um, so I don't know if that's just uh, like a fitment issue or what, but um, that is one thing that I've noticed. Um, I mean, it didn't affect my riding at all. I didn't notice it while I was riding. Um, yeah, so overall, I mean, the, the, the guards are fantastic so far. I'm, I'm really looking forward to continuing riding with them, um, just seeing how they hold up over time. Moving on to the new front bumper. I mean, there's not much that I can say about this so far. I mean, it looks fantastic. Um, it held up well. I did end up hitting or bumping into a tree uh, when I was doing a little bit of trail riding over the weekend. It looks fantastic still. It cleaned up really nice and um, we'll see how long it holds up and, and how well it, it handles impacts. <laughs> but yeah, so no complaints there. I'm also gonna take you guys back here to talk about the grab bar. It does what it needs to do. Uh, it's, you know, there for wheelies. So I was sticking my boot back there and uh, it still looks to be in decent shape. I mean, it did just get washed, but I mean, it's not bad. It looks okay. Moving on to our handlebars. I uh, was really impressed with these actually. With the YFZ, we went with the Pro Taper contour handlebars. They are the ATV Mid, I believe. And then we also added the ODI lock grips, as you see there. Yeah, so that's our handlebar setup. Um, I mean, right off the bat, you can notice, you can tell a difference. The bars feel um, lightweight, but they're still really sturdy, um, if that makes any sense. They just feel, you know, they're solid, if you will. I did notice a huge reduction in vibration that you feel through your forearms, so that's fantastic, honestly. Um, saves you from getting arm pump, uh, so, you know, you don't get arm pump as fast, so that's good. They've reduced all that while you're riding, the bumps and the impacts as you, the, what you feel as you go over things. Uh, they really help out a lot. So I do like these and I'm looking forward to continue riding with them and getting more experience with them. And then lastly, the ODI grips. I do prefer them over the OEM grips. Um, I feel my hand is more comfortable, uh, especially on the thumb throttle. It just feels more comfortable. It doesn't feel like I'm stretching as much. Um, and they feel, they're super grippy, obviously. It's a different grip pattern than the OEM. I'm gonna bring you in close here so you can see, but they are super comfortable. I really like those. So I'm excited to keep riding with those. But yeah, those are all the mods that we've done. I mean, you guys have seen the other videos, so you know all about them, but uh, that's just my, my quick two cents um, of what I think about them so far. I'm curious what you guys think about exhaust. I'm wanting to do the big three, so intake, exhaust, and um, some sort of fuel optimizer or uh, mapping, like a Vortex ECU or something like that. Um, so I'm curious what you guys think about uh, the different exhausts that are available. I don't know, there, there's a lot of options. So um, I've been doing a lot of research and just listening to clips on YouTube and seeing what people are saying in the forums, just so I can get a good understanding of what people are doing, what people are liking, um, and just what performs the best, really. I do see the big three in my future eventually, so I am excited about that. If you guys have any comments or recommendations, or if you've done the big three to your machine, go ahead and post that down below and let me know what you guys think, what would you guys recommend. Also, um, I'm toying with the idea of wrapping the YFZ. I don't know if I'm gonna do that just yet. What do you guys think? I've never wrapped anything before. I mean, I know that that's a thing that you do in the car community, you vinyl wrap your, your uh, cars. I don't know how well that holds up on an ATV. I mean, I'm sure it applies okay, it's just plastic. 
but I'm not sure, you know, with rocks and being an off-road machine, I'm not sure how the vinyl wrap would uh, hold up or how long. So I don't know if it, if it would be worth the, the money to do that. But I think vinyl wrapping it, changing the color to something more in my style, I think, uh, would look fantastic. And it would be a pretty cool video, I think, just to do that. But along with that, if I do vinyl wrap, I would also like to change the seat. Uh, probably just do some sort of like gripper seat cover just to match the theme. But yeah, those are kind of the things that I've been thinking about um, doing to the quad. With that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Uh, the sun is going down. Um, but yeah, it uh, overall, it was, it was a successful wash. Um, still gotta do the Grizzly. Ran out of time, unfortunately. So I still have that to do. Um, let me know if you guys would want to see that. I don't know. I'm personally not really into the Grizzly or, or those type of four wheelers, the utility uh, kind. It's not a bad machine though. It's it's really nice. It has power steering, all wheel drive or four wheel drive, whatever you wanna wanna say. Super comfortable to drive. Thumb throttle is nice and easy. Tons of like storage compartments. So it's really nice to go on riding trips with. If someone brings that, you can take water and things like that with you. But I definitely prefer the, the more sportier machines. Yeah, but uh, let me know if you guys wanna see video on that, that guy back there. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Stay tuned for more and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.